At the end of the battle for the bell, the Bobcats did the ringing. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. Welcome to our broadcast booth at Peden Stadium, where we broadcast tonight Ohio's 21-10 win over the Marshall Thundering Herd. It was a defensive struggle, a titanic struggle, a penalty-filled struggle, just an off offense, and Ohio gets it done to win over the Herd. Yep, Ohio scored early. Ohio scored late. A bunch of punts and penalties in between, but for Ohio, the signature drive, a six-minute drive down the field using two quarterbacks and finally punching in with A.J. Ouellette. In this day and age of college football, it is very hard to hold a legitimate college football program below 250 yards of total offense. The Bobcats did that. Also, Marshall had a very long string of games where they threw for a passing touchdown. That didn't happen tonight. In every way, Ohio's defense just locked down on the herd. Yeah, you held a Marshall team who put 700 yards on Ohio last year to under 100 yards passing, two picks, forced some fumbles. Ohio's defense, frankly, played great. You know, a lot of these games have been pretty close, but you certainly remember the last time and Ohio had some revenge to exercise. 44-14 to was a loss in Huntington last year, and Ohio thought about that for a while. This felt good because that felt so bad. Yeah, and this defense had 12 months, obviously, to think about it. This is not a league game, but frankly, it's become the rivalry game. We're sorry to see it go for a few years. Just enough offense. There was a throw to Sebastian Smith. Daz Patterson had a run. In the second half, it was a 7-3 second half. Ohio led by 14-7 at halftime. But guys didn't get to big numbers, but Daz and A.J. got to around 80 yards uh, over the course of the game. Sebastian Smith emerged in six catches, big score, including the long completion of the day from J.D. Sprague. The Bobcats win for the 33rd time all-time over the Thundering Herd, and this is Bell win number five in Bell game number 14. Remember, this was born back in 1997. Our recaps are supported by Donwood Toyota of Athens on the web at Don with Toyota.com. Here's how it looked and sounded at Peden Stadium. Can get a little bit of it back. Birdsong takes a snap and retreats. Pocket holds, has time. Throws it right side. Caught right sideline. But then Devin Bass smacked him down at the 42. The ball was thrown way short. Claps his hands twice. Play action. Steps back. All kinds of time. Deep ball. Middle of the field. And it's picked off. Taj Letman got it along the right hash of the 20, runs near sideline down at the 49, rather at the 39 or 40 yard line. Two wide receivers left, two wide out to the right, Birdsong out of the shotgun, Devin Johnson on his left side, and Devin will get the ball, big hole opens up, middle of the field, he could be gone. 50, 40, 30 between the hashes, nothing but green in front of him, finally cut down, but he stumbles forward and he is in. Sprague out of the shotgun. Hand off Olette. No, nope, it's an option left side. Beautiful fake. Sprague turns the corner left side, dives forward for a first down. Left numbers down at the 35. From 73, Daz Patterson from 30 plus. Second and seven, fade left side. One-handed in, Sebastian Smith runs forward. Knocked the pylon down. Touchdown, Ohio. Six for the Cats. What a beautiful play to Sebastian Smith. Left sideline, got behind the defender with a little space. That was dropped in beautifully by J.D. Sprague. One-handed in and secured by Sebastian. Six for Ohio, it's 13-7 Bobcats. First and 10 for Ohio, the Bobcat 25. Sprague hands it off to Olet. Nope, play fake. Sprague steps back, rush on, pull down. Wyndham walks up to the line, wears 14 and white on that green uniform top. Talks direct to snap. each lineman, direct snap. A.J. runs through the middle, into the house, six for the Cats. Touchdown, Ohio, and you can paint this ball game green and white in 205. 20 to 10, Bobcats. I'm sorry I jumped on that, Russ, but I saw it coming. Wyndham walk up the line, sort of walking to the right, talking to his guard, talking to his tackle, and the snap comes out between the legs. Olette busted off the left side. Marshall, it's on the film, but they weren't expecting it. They should have been expecting it. Victory formation. Greg Wyndham knee goes down. And Ohio runs to the bell, which is on a table beyond the goal post in the north end zone, and the whole team runs over. Paint this one green and white. So two weeks from now is Minnesota. However, next week is FCS week. You can't get to 3-0 and unless you beat 1AA Southeast Louisiana next week. And yes, all the pomp and circumstance of taking on a Big Ten team, Jerry Kill used to coach at Northern Illinois, all of that. All that's great, but that's two weeks from now. Got to care about the Lions of Southeast Louisiana first. Yeah, focus on this one. Obviously, Ohio hasn't uh, skipped an FCS game metaphorically in nearly 15 years. 
the good news for Ohio. Uh, they're, these guys are coming in off a win. Ohio coming off a win. I think Ohio will respond strongly, and hopefully these guys want to play, and they will. Yeah, Southeast is out of the Southland Conference. You know some other of the programs in that league, Sam Houston, Central Arkansas, McNeese State, and some others. We'll talk about that in our game week preview. They are 2-0, and as Rob said. They just beat Division II Florida Tech at home. They also knocked off Northwestern State. That's out of Louisiana as well. They're a good ball club, too. Uh, that was in week one. So on the air at 1 o'clock for a kick at 2 on Saturday as Ohio takes on the Lions from Hammond, Louisiana. All grins on Saturday night at Peton Stadium. The Cats ring that bell 21-10 to over the Marshall Thundering Herd. For Derek and the entire Bobcat TV crew and for Rob C., hey. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.